showing you how to perform a system restore with your Toshiba, an older Toshiba. This is a satellite L305 S5957 and it has a recovery partition. You want to hold down the zero key, just the number zero, and then the power button and I will show you. And then it will just keep it holding down. It will eventually come up to a loading Windows file right here. Windows is loading files. You can you could probably take your fingers off the buttons before that, but it's going to boot into a recovery utility that's on the hard drive. I referenced the manual. I think it was page 60, but this is for older satellites that th this is a single core it has Windows Vista it's quite old but I had a customer that wanted me to try to get it up and running and so I don't discriminate when it comes to I just don't care what people bring in to me it gives you a warning when the recovery is executed all data will be deleted and rewritten if you're restoring from backup blah 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 please connect the AC adapter you always want to make sure you have AC adapter connected then you just scroll down and say yes then you'll get up to a another menu and it asks you to select a process please select an option recovery a factory default software recover to out-of-box state erase the hard disk delete all the data and partition from your hard drive you don't want to choose number two if you want to reload windows i want to recover this laptop back to factory it's got all kinds of problems it had some malware spyware corruption I ran check disks, SSC scans, just no bueno muy mal. Now if I wanted to sell this hard computer possibly or just erase the hard disk, the problem is you're going to delete all the data and partitions from your hard drive and that I think might include the recovery partition so I'm going to choose the first option, you just click next. It gives you three options, recovery factor default software, please select recovery method. Recover to out of box state. System recovery options are included. Recover without changing the hard drive partitions and recover to a custom size partition. I don't want to mess with the other ones. I'm going to just choose the default recover to the out of box state. This will recover it to as if I just bought this computer and that's exactly what I want. It just gives you a warning part partitions will be deleted and then overwritten. But the recovery partition will not be deleted. That's the most important. Whenever I use the, I try to use factory recovery partitions. There's some yays and nays. One reason why with my computer business I go ahead and try is because it's easiest. It takes less time. It'll recover it back to the factory settings, including drivers. I don't have to go out on the internet and look for drivers. I have to run Windows updates. It does load some bloatware, but it's much quicker and it, really it's the driver's issues. I don't have to use a OEM or retail Windows disk and then load it. I can just use the factory. And then as you can see, it, it it's running. And then it will finish this process. It takes quite a while. It, can t it just depends on the speed of your computer. But this is an older Toshiba satellite L305 S5957. It's quite old, but any of those single core Toshiba satellites, they had recovery partitions. You can also create recovery DVDs. Adios.